This video was a request by Gangsta Lizard 95. Make sure to sub to his YouTube channel. Now, on to the video. Rosie and Karag's daughter battle in court. What a lovely day it is today. Nice sunshine. No snow. Perfect. What the? Huh. I wonder who that could be? Hello, Rosie speaking. Hi Rosie. This is Kelly Mae Curran. I just called to tell you that you are not invited to my birthday party. I will also tell everyone in school that you are a wimp and a straight up in real life. I mean I did whack you in your face that one time on the beach about five years ago. Why should a loser and wimp like you come to my party? Well, have a crap day. Wah 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 Hey there Rosie. What is wrong? Kelly McCarran called me up. She said she isn't inviting me to her party. She also called me a loser. Oh my god. Are you serious? That's cold hearted. Even I would never do something like that. That's, that's her again. Wait, I got an idea. Don't pick it up for 10 seconds. Pick up the phone now. What do you want, you nasty bitch? I'm not talking to you. No, Rosie. Don't say that. What? Oh my god. Rosie. How could you say such a thing? Oh my god. You? You were my best friend. What was 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 what? Hum. She hung up. Rosie. You weren't supposed to say anything. We were supposed to record her voice as evidence of her bullying you. I, um... I didn't think of that. Well it's too late now, just forget about it now. Oh god, I really got out of hand. Time to watch some Wheel of Fortune. Huh? An eye? Eye, that would be... Got it, okay, there's an eye, there's an eye. Balls are gone. Ha 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 My god. That woman's such an idiot. A cadet of all people. Who could that be? Oh my god. Okay. Hello there sir. How can I help you? Right. So are you Mr. Boris Anderson? Yes. Yes I am. Well, your daughter Rosie said. What? What is so fucking funny? Ha ha. Nothing. Just something that was on the television. Right, so before I was so rudely interrupted, I came to inform you that your daughter Rosie made some very derogatory comments toward my client, Miss Kelly McCarran. Miss, Meg, oh, McCarran? That's right, your daughter said that my client was a, and I quote, nasty, a fucking bitch. End quote. So, I will hand you this. The court case you will need to attend. Miss Karen McCarran is suing you all for $100,000 for slander. There you go. The court hearing will happen in two days at 9 o'clock. Oh, oh my god. Rosie, Rosie come down here this instant. Yes, Daddy. I am coming. 
Yes, Daddy. Do you care to explain why I am holding a lawsuit document that says that you called Karen Karen's daughter a nasty bitch? I didn't say it like that. Well, how did you say it? She called me first, saying that I was invited to her birthday party and that I'm a loser. I'm serious, Daddy. Well, your tone of voice does sound upset. I can tell when something's wrong. I don't know how we are going to prove to them that Kelly was the one who actually said the bad comment. But we can at least try. Uh oh. Whoops. What do you want you nasty bitch? I'm not talking to you. Dad, it's not what it sounds like. You can't defend your sister anymore. I'm going to put this document up in my office. Rosie, when we go in that courtroom, you will tell the court exactly what you said. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Daddy. I'm sorry. Also, you are grounded for one month. Go up to your room and never come out. I, I don't know how this can happen like this. I didn't do any of this to be a bully. Now I don't even believe myself. Rosie, we will get through this. I promise you I will get you out of this. No, you've done enough for me. You have tormented me throughout my childhood. What good are you? You're just going to fuck it up more. Rosie, get up in your room now. It is punishment day. I fucking hate you Caillou Anderson. Wow. I really fucked up this time. The tape never should have fallen out of the recorder. If only I recorded their phone conversation earlier. Wait a minute. Phone conversation. Recording. The police usually have conversations recorded for archival purposes. If I can break into the police station, I can retrieve the tape that was recorded this afternoon. And Kelly McCarran was the one who beat up my little sister that one day at the beach back in 2001. She deserves to get her ass handed to her. I got that's N16 here. We're about to commit a police station raid. This is a raid! Nobody fuck can move! Show me the room of all tapes of recorded phone calls! Now! Okay. Okay. Calm down. Just follow me this way. Don't! Don't you dare shoot me! Oh god, Frank. You fucking idiot. Look what you did now, kid. Frank's dead. I never liked the guy, but he didn't have to die. What on earth did you come here that you would assault an officer? I came to get a recorded phone call tape. Because my sister was accused of saying a horrible thing to a girl, and the girl is now suing my sister. And who might this girl suing your sister be? Kelly McCarran. You mean, from the McCarran family? The McCarran family, well. You are pretty much downright screwed boy. You can never win anything against them. Or at least make them happy. Why though do you need a phone call though? So I can prove that the McCarran's butter Kelly said that my sister is a loser and a wimp. And that she beat up my sister on purpose 10 years ago. Well, it would be nice having them McCarran's lose a lawsuit. And, they would have to pay you guys if this is true. You can counter sue them for the daughter purposely beating up you your sister. The tapes are just down here. I don't know why Kyle left early to go to school. I wonder what he did this time. I'm not even worried about Caillou. I'm just pissed we're going to have to pay $100,000 thanks to that ginger bitch daughter of ours. All rise. The plaintiff and the defendant may now walk to the stand. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Judge Stern. First case for the day. McCarran vs. Anderson. McLaren, you are suing Miss Anderson's family for $100,000 due to a bullying attack. You say that the daughter Rosie did on you. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. And my I saw Mr. Stern, I think you should have a little more cash for your lovely wife. Perhaps, this little bit. Here you go, Your Honor. Oh, why thank you, Miss McCarran. That's a nice gesture.
I can't believe they can just bribe the legal system like that, the crooks. Ahem. No talking over there. So Miss Anderson, do you deny this claim? Well, uh, not exactly. Miss Anderson, it's a yes or no question. No I do not. Or yes I do. No I do not. So you do not deny the claim made that you did indeed say a derogatory comment toward Miss McCarran. What, huh? I do, or I don't. I, I did a... Uh... An answer Miss Anderson. I need a yes or no. Yes, I did insult Miss McCarran, but it's only because she insulted me first. It wasn't that bad of an insult. Miss Anderson, you do not ever talk back to a judge in the court of law like that ever. If you do that again, I will throw you in jail for a long time. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, you are winning. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now, does anybody have any audio of the incident? I do, sir. I'm as you know the lawyer of the McCarran family. Thank you. I'll take that. Let's take a listen here of the audio. What do you want, you nasty bitch? I'm not talking to you. Well, it would appear that you were quite rude in your tone of voice, Miss Anderson. Given the tone of voice, and given the gratefulness of the McCarran family, I hereby order the payment of $100,000 from the Anderson family to the McLaurin family. Don't whack that gable just yet. We got more evidence. Caillou. 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 The bog rat. What's the meaning of this? I was about to whack my gable to shut and close this case. We heard you were listening to tapes as evidence. So, we figured we'd give you two pieces of evidence to count assume Miss McCarran and show my sister is not as guilty as she looks. Okay, I guess we'll give it a listen. Hey, uh, your honor, just remember, my family gave you all the money. Remember. Kelly. Hi Rosie, this is Kelly McCarran. I just called to tell you that you are not invited to my birthday party. I will also tell everyone in school that you are a wimp and a straight up bitch in real life. I mean I did whack you in your face that one time on the beach about five years ago. Why should a loser and wimp like you come to my party? Well, have a crap Miss day. Miss McCarran, I am very disappointed. You downright sicken me. For that, this money you have given me will be gone. Miss McCarran, there's no crying in my courtroom. Well, I can easily say that this case is now this. Wait, Your Honor, Mr. Anderson here would like to counter sue. Oh, come on already. I just want to go home already. Ten years ago, my sister was beaten by Kelly McCarran after the McCarran family claimed that we were on their so-called reserved beach space. My sister was literally bleeding on the sand from the kick to the face. The police chief at the time reserved us space on the beach as a result, but we were never paid for my sister's injury by the Mitkarans. And I was the one who recorded the incident while I was recording a ship going by in the ocean. Back in October 2001. I see. May I see the video? Now, look at the size of that ship. Hun, what's going on over here? Mommy. Can I use a fan if someone asks me? Yes, oh, my darling. Hi, yeah. <laughs> Rosie. You bastards. What the hell is wrong I'm with you? Rosie. Well, I've seen enough. Karen, Ken and Kelly McCarran. I hereby order you all to pay in full $100,000 to the Anderson family. And for the last goddamn time this morning. Case. Fucking. Dismissed. Yay, we actually won the case. I'm not guilty. Thank you so much, Caillou. You helped me a lot. No, I didn't. You said for me to not help you. Officer Dubs did. And Richard the Logger did. I just lent them in the right direction. It's just a shame what happened to Frank. Frank? Who's Frank? The cop I killed in self-defense while storming the police station to get the telephone tape. You, you did what? what? Mr. Anderson. Did I hear that correct? You killed Frank the police officer to get the telephone tape. Yeah, yes, I did. Officer Dubs, is this true? Yes, it is your honor. Frank was killed, trying to shoot Caillou down. Caillou stormed the police station and asked me for the tape. Well, it would appear, Caillou, that you're going away for a long time for the death of Officer Frank. I hereby sentence you to life in prison. Case this. No! I'm not dead! I'm alive and well! Oh, Mother of God. 
Frank. How on earth did you survive? Simple, I did the old fake blood squirt trick. I do it a lot when I pretend to die when somebody is a bad shot. And Caillou proved to be the best bad shot. I did all that to prove that Officer Dubs here didn't really like me. I knew Caillou was looking for a tape for his case, so I recorded the whole conversation him and Dubs had after I fake died. And caught Dubs here red-handed. You got real fooled. Frank, R, are you serious? Are you okay? Of course, buddy. Okay. That was, um, real funny. Haha. -ha. Well, I guess we will be going now. Well, I guess I'll be going, too, gentlemen. See ya. You should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> well, I guess we'll never know the full truth of what happened there, but I think we all learned a nice lesson today. Always watch what you say or else it might bite you in the ass later. Now how's about we go on a spending trip? Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, and others of everything PC gaming. Make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you never ever miss a new video.